Yeah, man, so you already know what's going on. Interview segment of K Talks. And today we are being joined by Jamal Bruce. Now, Jamal is a visual artist, photographer, musician, rapper, Tuba guy. He does a lot of stuff. You'll learn about him right about now. Jamal, introduce yourself to the people. Like you just said, my name is Jamal Bruce. I'm an expressionist, uh, artist, graphic designer, photographer, videographer, dancer, and uh, I'm also known as the man of Xavier. Um, let's see, I've been doing art for about, from the time I was eight years old, I've been dancing four years professionally, and I was just recently certified in graphic designing. Oh shit, nice, so, nice. So, it's been a pretty awesome journey for me, and um, this year is gonna be a pretty interesting time. Because you're going to be traveling to Jamaica to be part of a new dance group? Actually, yeah. I have been, I haven't really like said that as yet, but I'm working on traveling to Jamaica to pursue or to further myself more. Not just in the graphics, but for dancing specifically. And um, I'm not sure as to how long yet I'm going to go for, but I do plan to put myself in a lot more... Um, Feels and let's see, let probably get more certified, certified in more, awesome. yeah, awesome. Movements, awesome. movements of the arts and stuff, awesome. and see how big it becomes. Um, yeah. Now you said that to you, what you do is in its own genre. Mm -hmm. What is it about your expressions and your art that makes it so different from what's already out there? In your opinion. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. Well. Me, I've always been one for the abstract and always been one for, um, like I said, expressionism mm -hmm. and these types of art. The whole contemporary, uh, more conceptual. So, what I like to do in comparison to all the others, I don't really li limit myself oh so much. Because, again, there's a lot that I'm doing right now that I wish I had done years ago. Mm. But I think it was the year before I had one year. I normally split on, I normally take the entire year and split it into one big theme, or put it into one big theme. So each so year, one, yeah, you so do like a different theme yes. that represents something and throughout the year you just do different expressions that kind of center around that or that idea or that thing, right? Yeah. So, um, there was this one year called the Year of Xavier mm -hmm. where I never, I didn't truly have a boundary as to how far I want to go in terms of my concepts and in mm -hmm. terms of what I wanted to do. So, from that, I learned to not be also afraid to do, any, to do anything and just go ahead with whatever my head goes. That didn't make sense. But just <laughs> go ahead with wherever my mind so it was just like, like, like free, in yeah. a sense. Oh. I mean, that's all what the Man of Xavier is about. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of creating that revolutionary, that visionary expression, mm -hmm. but at the same time, not being also, what's the word, bashful about it, but being more celebratory. And just creating a joyful approach to so every approaching. And after the year of Xavier, what was next? After the year of Xavier was the year of the Lords, which was last year. Mm -hmm. um, it was a year of mentorship and collaborating more often because I feel like the flow of productivity amongst us as artists is kind of diminishing quite quickly. And I didn't truly like that personally. Mm -hmm. I didn't truly agree with the way things were going. So I felt like it was only fair to those who are still here and still pushing themselves, those like me and those who already who have already reached a goal big enough to be in, to be inspired, to, for, to have people inspired by them. So I felt like um, let's reach out to those who want to be somewhat in the same field as us, mm -hmm. and let's hear what they have to like do and what they have to offer towards the country, or what. Or how they plan to progress and develop themselves 
so that was last year the year of the lord so it was also like a sequel to the year of the ending which was in 2014 which was kind of when I, when I started this whole thing. No, I lie. I started in 2013, but um, <laughs> in 2014, mm. it was a year of soul searching for me. So you can see from then onwards, mm. you can see, at least I hope you can see the progression and that you um, <laughs> can see um, the different fields and how I take my abstract and expressionistic style of art and turn it to different like waves, you know? Thanks. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, like, what do you think it is that keeps you motivated to do what you do? Because I know in this type of environment, like, there's not much that actually pushes you forward in mm-hmm. terms of support, in terms of like um, facilities and whatnot that actually pushes you to do what you do as an artist. So, what is it that keeps you motivated? This okay. Well, first of all, I would say. Um, I'm influenced, I'm highly influenced by rappers, especially rappers like within my age. Um, wow. <laughs> especially rappers within like my age range. Um, secondly, I learned to be self-motivated in a sense where I'm almost in like a competition of myself. So it kind of makes every single year with the different themes that I do, it makes it better and better somewhat. So if I've done this, I say, like, okay, what more that I can do? Like, take for example, this here is the year of the artist. That's, that's A-R-D-E-S-T. Where um, I'm taking a different approach in my art where it's not just black and white. It's more of a year of color for me. And it's just me again challenging myself. So over the years, I know if I have to depend on the people around me, because don't get me wrong, I am surrounded by a positive circle, mm-hmm. but I, I felt like I would never truly learn if I didn't like work on myself instead of, depend, instead of being also dependent on people. So um, you can see I'm self-motivated, I'm self-driven. It's not as easy as it sounds, but it has worked for me for the past few years. And what advice would you give to somebody who's like out there? They want to be an artist, they want to follow their dreams, in whatever regard that is. And they're just not feeling that motivation because they don't have that support, any positive energy, any positive nothing. What would you advise that to I'll say don't do it. I'm joking. Um, what I'm saying, I was just saying like, um, like I said earlier, always be self-driven and always be self-motivated. It will be a very hard and rough time as an artist, especially a local artist. Like, I don't know for those current, because there are people way older than us who are probably still doing it and still motivate us. But um, I know for me personally, it was a very rough journey. I had to put myself in a lot of fields in order for me to get the position that I am now. And um, don't be afraid to express yourself as weird as you may be. It's not a bad thing to be a weird person. Because I know I was like, what's the word, ridiculed? Let's see. I know I was often ridiculed for the way I am or the way I was. But it's all about maturity. Like the more you, keep, the more you look on your work and the more you look around, also be very observant because the more you see the more you understand and the more you can look back and be like okay maybe i'm doing this wrong and such and such i can go on and on about this um but that's just it just don't be afraid period like don't be afraid to express yourself don't be afraid to try out new things because i'm trying out something very new this year and i find it's been working pretty well the feedback has been great so far for the year of the artists of course and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I accomplished, you know. Well, the final question, um, where do you see yourself in say five, ten years from now? I don't know, to be honest with you. Because um, every year I always try out something. I told someone recently, I'm, in spite of the fact that I do all of this, I still don't know where I would be the, the year after. 
I kind of just go with the flow of things, to be real with you. Um, if I have to be, I don't know, direct as to what I, I do plan to do in three years, um, I really want to go more into filmmaking and probably make more short films and maybe a movie, possibly a movie. I do want to further my clothing line because I do sell my own designs and stuff. I also do clothes. Um, possibly um, work on choreography and like see how I can better the whole dance scene on the island. Um, of course, I want to keep mentoring because the Year of Laws taught me a lot when it comes to teaching and leading people. Also teach myself a lot because even if there's a lot I can like reach out, if there's a lot I can say towards people, I still have to like reach out to myself and see what, how I can learn from it. Um, I'm working with right now Artist Designs, Gilroy Hippolyte. Let me just send a shout out to him. And we, the two of us, even if we're working on our own brands, we collaborate quite often in, in terms of bettering the whole, um, this whole frame of artists and the whole visual as to how we appear and to how we can better this country really. And um, other than that, of course, just keep collaborating, just keep working with people and of course, just keep this open frame of mind because the older I get, I guess, the more I will be, what's the word, accustomed to a certain like personality or certain behaviors in people. But I kind of don't want that for myself, seeing from what I've observed. I kind of just want to remain open and remain this jovial mindset that makes me not afraid to do certain things. And where can people find you? Like, where can people find your vibes, your content? Um, well, I normally walk around with my content. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of like a walking exhibition. Okay. I pref I, that's just like my well, my main way of marketing myself. I normally walk out of my house with at least one thing that I made on my own. But other than that, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook as Mind of Xavier. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, MNDFXVR. So you can check that out. Um, I also have Snapchat, Mind of Xavier. Pretty simple. And uh, yeah, that's mainly it for now. Uh, website will be in the work soon. Good plan. So thanks for joining us here at K Talks. No problem.